Sony! I have a bone to pick. I'm actually really, really excited for the PS5. Literally yesterday, we got a look at the PlayStation 5's UI, which is something we've all been requesting. We want to see what's changed, what's new, what's improved. Now, they didn't really give us a full demo of everything, but they gave us a little tease on the main Things. Now, I would very much like to say that I am totally happy, but you may remember a few days ago, the PS4 received an update. And I know the PS5 is going to follow suit with this because, looking at the UI, there appears to be something missing. You can see that this looks like communities, right? No, that's friends, because otherwise, where is friends? Either way, it's communities or not, I want to nitpick about something pretty important to me. Now, you're going to say, Theo, you're a YouTuber because the community is important to you. Hey, but listen, my point is I use this community for one huge thing, and that is inviting people to play with me on streams and just in general. By the way, join the community. If you didn't know already, they've basically ruined parties and communities in general. So if you want to start a party, let's jump in and click on party, start a party. And what I have to do is create a group. Now, I get a lot of messages throughout the day, which are just random chats that I've been invited to and subscribers' messages, which I do appreciate. So that's the number one problem for me. What do I do? Disable messages? No, I don't want to do that. You can select favorite groups so that if you have a certain group of friends you play with all the time, that's cool. That's cool for that. But why remove the functionality of inviting people individually? That seems kind of dumb. Okay. Now, that means that you can't really invite yourself to a party anymore to mute people, which is something people do a lot. I know that they do it. Again, I'm very, very excited for the PlayStation 5, but this kind of ticked me off quite a lot. So communities is a fantastic feature that Sony did before Xbox. And generally for online features, that's not something that Sony do. Sony generally stick to themselves and do basic things. <laughs> but with the communities, they were at the forefront of creating something awesome. Now, normally what I do is to start an open lobby where I play with other people or play with the community. I would go and create events and, uh, oh, it's not available. Okay, okay, fine. That's broken. What, what about just start a party with community members, which is what I also did. Cannot use this feature. Are you kidding me? This is one of the best things you could do on PlayStation. Create and share invites with communities. Create big groups of people that can join in. This, to me, it's backwards. I really, really don't understand. Now, of course, there's a feature, a way to get around the issue of you want to join in a party yourself. What I do, honestly, this is what I have to do on PlayStation to mute. I have broken some headphones. <laughs> I broke some headphones so I could block in so it blocks all the game chat because I just, I don't want to hear the game chat when I'm playing. But the fact I have to do that is kind of ridiculous. The communities are now, quite frankly, useless. All it is, is this sessions thing, which again, it's, I guess you could say is useful. But as you can clearly see, going through all these, there is only one or two that has more than one people in it. And you know that, why that is? It is because these sessions are actual game sessions. If I try to join some of these sessions, they're probably either in solo or... They're in a full session. This is really, really frustrating because we have a community that is literally 43,000 members and it was increasing. And I haven't pushed it in a long time, which I feel I, I, I should have because I might have been able to save the community. We're the biggest racing game community on PlayStation. Bigger than the official Gran Turismo one, which was just crazy. Maybe that's why. They don't want pants to be number one in terms of the comment. Ah. I'll, I'll be number two if you want. Just just fake your numbers. But the reason this worries me is because it means that it's probably a thing on the PlayStation 5 UI as well. But that is very worrying because how on earth am I supposed to invite my community to play with me? Now, I don't even use parties for communication on PlayStation. I think most of us where they have a laptop or a computer or a phone, use Discord to communicate. And parties are a thing that some people use quite fairly, yes, but you've made it even more complicated for those people that actually do, and you've made it for people like me that genuinely don't want to use it. No, they don't want to use it anymore, at all, ever. Never do want to touch it, because you've just taken away one of the best features of this. Now, again, not everyone has big followings, Theo. Oh, you're a YouTuber, of course, you just want to, you want to fill your ego full of... No, my point is, I want to play with my subscribers. I want to play, and that was the easiest way. Now, what I have to do, you're telling me that at the beginning of every single stream, I now have to add every single subscriber to my list, and eventually, I'll hit the cap, of subscribers and when I try and do a solo video on my own in an open game just to try and get a real feel of the the experience of the game I all of a sudden am bombarded with people following me and the like which again is not 
I'm not complaining because I would totally do the same if I found a, a person that I watch in a game or in, not in real life. I, I can't say. <laughs> Don't follow people in real life. Don't do it. But it's a shame because the functionality here was fantastic and it's taking away from that fantastic functionality. I hope and pray that maybe they removed it to improve upon the feature. But this update very clearly coincided with the release of the video showing us the new UI for PlayStation because it came out literally two days, a day, two days before they revealed the UI of the PS5, which the PS5 doesn't even like it has a community function, though it may be hidden inside the friends function. You can no longer create private communities. You can only make public communities, which doesn't bother me at all because the whole point of this new party system is to keep parties consistent your group of friends consistent so if you have a group of friends that you play the games all your games with all the time that's a group if you have friends that you play um, call of duty with all the time and nothing else you have a call of duty team it's, it's good for clans it's good for small groups of people but when it comes to communities this is starving of now what Xbox took. Now, Xbox did take this feature. And quite frankly, I do not blame them. And honestly, I've not really touched upon the community feature on Xbox very much because it's inviting. You can invite people by messages on Xbox. You can't do that on PlayStation. It's all locked down, very strict. And some side of me is like, well, people don't want people being randomly invited. And the other side of me is like, well, Xbox does it fine. I, there's no issue there. Quite frankly, Xbox took it and did it maybe better, maybe the same, but now PlayStation removed it. That just seems so backward. There was something that PlayStation did before Xbox in terms of social features. Social features on PlayStation generally are worse. <laughs> Openly honest, are worse. The only thing that PlayStation has better is usually the, the streaming features and so on and so on. But it's like them removing that feature. It just doesn't make any sense. So here you are, PlayStation 5 with no more community features. I have been cooking up a way to do something like do an alternative to this method. But honestly, it's only it's a botch job. It's, it's the fact that I, I would either have to get a community member, a moderator to add everybody and delete everybody after all the games, which is just totally unfair because then I, that's maybe a spot that I'm going to have to say that they get because they did all that work for me. You know, I'm going to have to tweak and play it like that. Or I'm going to do something that I think makes the most sense and use my mostly play Need for Speed. I'm going to do open lobbies on Need for Speed. And GTA, thankfully, has its own community setting that doesn't actually work, which is a shame. But <laughs> in terms of Need for Speed, thankfully, crossplay is now a thing. But great, thank the Lord that that's a thing because I can now use that to my advantage i can add people on my uh my origin which means people are going to need to install the origin app to add me to play with me on playstation it's just so it's it's not it's not acceptable quite frankly i needed to make a video on this because i know a, a lot of people complain about the party system in general but i wanted sony to see this side of it i know for sure that I'm probably going to upset some Sony employees and I'm probably going to be thrown onto a back burner like, oh, get, the, get this man out of here. I'm very, very, very excited. I'm very, 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 very excited for the PlayStation 5 and I very much want to just play with my community. You have taken that ability from me, at least the ability to do it easily from me, which if you're making this such a social console and on the home screen, all of a sudden you've got like these social tiles and all this business going on that makes it easier for you to jump into a game with friends. Why on earth have you removed the ability for me to form a community that actually makes people find other people with similar interests and they play together and they like um you may be saying ah there you're talking the poopoo -poo. i am not talking the poopoo -poo because as you saw scrolling down this list very clearly there is a, a few people that are playing together and the fact that i've been able to to create this community is awesome and i it would be a very big shame to just throw this all away like i'm gonna have to come up with a better way to do it and again let's say all right so we're gonna push the discord more We'll push the Discord more. And how do we then invite people to the game properly? Like, unless there's way, a way to give someone a link, a, a link that they click or a QR code that they scan on their phone that brings them into my game. I don't get it. 
are you wanting me to move to Xbox? Are you wanting me to move to Stadia? Where Stadia, although it doesn't have crossplay, if that would have crossplay, I might actually do that. Stadia has the a future ability, or will have an ability to join a, see a live stream that someone is streaming the game on YouTube and you click join and it puts you in the game instantly. No loading times, no downloading. Like to me, that that is that's what you want to aim for. You've, you're going a little bit backwards here. All right, so let me know your thoughts down below. Have you downloaded the update? I'm pretty sure you have if you've played PlayStation. Has it ruined parties for you? I want to hear everything you have to say about this because hopefully we can get PlayStation to fix this now before the PS5 comes out and it just ruins people's want to create parties and, 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 and the like. All right. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next video, which won't just be me ranting about PlayStation. Because I love you, PlayStation. Until next time, peace.